Hi, my name is Tyler Vasquez, a Vice President Wealth Advisor here at IFA. It's a pleasure to be here with Kirk Ito. He has over 20 years experience in the industry and our in-house financial planning, planning expert. Kirk, it's good to have you. Oh, thanks, Tyler. It's <laughs> good to be here. Um, this is my first time in the studio, which is pretty cool. It's very fun. <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about uh, financial planning, one of the most important aspects of what we do here at IFA. And uh, frankly, one of the most common questions we get asked is, am I on track to reach this certain goal? Am I ready for retirement? Uh, will my nest egg last me the rest yeah. of my life? And, and a good financial plan helps with all of that. So Kirk, would you mind walking through what a typical full financial plan looks like for a client? Yeah, absolutely. So um, typical financial plan, I, I, I kind of hesitate to use the word typical um, just because of the fact that everyone is customized to whatever that client is wanting to address. Right, so uh, together with the client, the advisor is typically setting up a, a scope of engagement. What are we going to address in their financial life? Um, and based upon those pieces, then we will put together a financial plan that fits their needs, right? Um, so that's, that's the ultimate goal. Um, having said that, the, the different uh, portions of that, that financial plan that we're going to address are just overall financial condition, you know, uh, what shape am I in, basically a, a, like a net worth statement even, right? Um, tracking what you have is kind of that starting point for everybody. Um, and then of course the big one's retirement. But after that, we also have to worry about education, are there tax planning opportunities, um, possibly long-term care situations. We, we run into this, uh, especially when people have close ones that they're watching go through those long-term care uh, events, so. Perfect. Yeah. And what are some good uh, benefits <clears throat> of doing a financial plan as well? Uh, benefits of doing a financial plan? I think, you know me, I'm, I'm a little bit biased, but I think <laughs> everybody should be doing a financial plan. Um, and it's, it's really to put all the moving parts together, right? So. Our financial lives are, are very complicated and, you know, is, is my savings rate and my income appropriate? Um, what are my expenses looking like? We have savers and spenders uh, and you can go too far in either way, right? So um, that's, that's the big thing is seeing how all the pieces actually fit together. Um, how are taxes going to be affecting my financial health going forward? And not just this year, um, but further down the road? Am I doing the right things so that I'm going to be setting myself up for success, right? So that's, that's the initial financial plan. But the financial plan itself is really uh, of minimal effect unless you're maintaining that financial plan on an, a regular basis. Yes, so. definitely. Like you said, it's, it's good to have a full picture of, of where you're at. Uh, and like you said, hopefully it provides a little bit of motivation to keep to those saving goals. Yeah. And and, and, re and reach those goals. And, and lastly, I, I would even add it, uh, a good financial plan tends to add a lot of confidence for our clients. Yes. We like to stress test the plans, make sure they're resilient in case of a market downturn. So when those times do come, uh, whereas a lot of people might have a lot of fear and angst and anxiety, uh, we hopefully it provides our clients a lot more peace and kind of reassurance and confidence in their financial picture too. Yeah, absolutely, very, very good points. Um, that confidence to, to move forward and know that uh, you're doing the right thing and that you are on track can save people a lot of sleepless nights. Absolutely. Definitely. So, so we also use some of the best planning software available. Uh, would you like to touch on a few additional benefits that clients might find helpful? You know, a really popular feature um, that a, a lot of clients really glom onto is the account aggregation. So being able to see all of your financial accounts, not just the ones here at IFA, but from all over, aggregated together, again, um, it's a good, good uh, check on your vitals when it mm -hmm. comes to financial health. Mm -hmm. so. now, uh, another popular feature is called the Monte Carlo. W would you mind explaining mm. what that is? Yeah, the Monte Carlo simulation or you know, thousand trial simulation has, uh, basically it's projecting out all of your finances, right? So income, expense, investment portfolio, these, these factors and, and putting them through randomized results mm -hmm. on an annual basis. 
and doing that thousands of times. And what we end up with is a range of probability of where we'll end up somewhere in the future, right? And so if your retirement is, uh, you know, 70 years off, you know, your, your child's retirement is, is way out there, um, that's going to look a lot different than somebody that's approaching and we have a much better picture of where their retirement is going to be in the next five, 10 years. So. Good point. Uh, the, the software also has other features like Roth conversion planning, tax planning. Uh, it, can, it can even optimize stock options for our clients too, which is very yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're getting some new tools always. <laughs> yeah. They're always developing these softwares. Um, but new tools for RSUs and uh, restricted stock options mm -hmm. um, and the best strategies around those too. Perfect. So, yeah. so when, when's the best time to, to do a financial plan? I would say yesterday. <laughs> um, and if not yesterday, then today. If I could have told myself something when I was younger, mm -hmm. it would have been to develop a, a financial plan and stick with it, right? And that would have uh, smoothed things out for me. So yeah, <laughs> I recommend that to everybody. Um, just, you know, the, the sooner you can get on that track, the better. Definitely. Like, like, like we mentioned before, it helps clients know whether they're on track while they're working. Uh, when they're nearing retirement, it gives them a yeah. good picture of, of if they're ready or not. And even after retirement, it helps them to see if they're, they're you know, spending too much or, uh, or if they're not spending enough. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. And a little more. It's funny. Uh, so when, uh, how, how might a client start a financial plan? So the easiest way to do that would be to talk to your IFA advisor. <laughs> so somebody here like Tyler, can definitely help you get started on that. And if you're not an IFA client, then call one. Perfect. And how much does all of this cost? It's built into our services. Perfect. And that's all the questions that, that we have today. Kirk, thank you so much for, for giving us a good overview of, of the financial plan opportunities that we have here. Absolutely. Uh, it's good to have you and uh, we'll, we'll see you again soon. Thanks, Tyler. <laughs>